can put your phone away? <laughs> this from you? Kettle. This Hold on, let's pot. get this done. Boogers, am I good? actually talking about my racing history at some point. you do. <laughs> So if you guys rewind back to the first episode of Daily Transmission we ever did with the Supra, uh, we did a board slide over a friend of mine's car. That's my friend, ACP. I'm the friend. Yeah, so ACP and I actually, uh, we are co-starring. Are you starring? Star is that what it is? Hosting? Yeah, I like yeah. co-starring. Yeah, we're co-starring in a show, airs tonight on Discovery Channel called Car Saviors, where we save like, save? I we really know. destroy. We really destroy. We kind of pretend to save and then destroy. Old cars. Anyway, speed. ACP, uh, once rally racer, now stunt driver. Still a rally still racer. Still a rally racer. You, you never get over that. Whatever. Yeah. Collector of weird old cars like the midget. So this midget was here. We kind of all thought it was scrap and we're just happy to kind of just leave it in the yard to die. Uh, and he actually resurrected it only like 30 days later. So here it is and uh, the plan is, is you're going to do some burnouts with this thing. So why don't yeah. you walk us through all amazing whopping 40 horsepower. Uh, it hasn't run for 30 years. It didn't turn a wheel until today for 30 years. Uh, you're pushing it down the ramp and board sliding over it notwithstanding. Uh, but I actually did get it running and it's, uh, it's running extremely badly. The brake seized on uh, somewhere in Hollywood. Uh, the clutch completely went uh, just right around downtown. The exhaust system fell off on the 710 just over here. And I had to ratchet strap the hood down because uh, it was fluttering on the highway and I was worried it was going to flop over and hit me. Well, that's not really that bad, is it? Here, here's how you release the hood. All good cars are like this. You gotta reach in there, just operate the lever. I actually have a rubber bungee strap uh, to hold the lever in place. So that's system number two. System number three, it actually has a latch. And there's the whopping 1,275 cc's uh, of British power. Uh, it had 60 odd horsepower from the factory, now it's down to about 40. Probably get a couple more horsepower for the exhaust being off it now. So we should do some burnouts. Yeah. This is definitely a first for us. Uh, someone shows up to do a burnout and the first thing they have to do is uh, adjust their throttle to hopefully get more power. But actually there are motors like a Hayabusa has a bigger engine. Oh yeah, we know. The <laughs> With Hayabusa twice the motors power. are cool. With twice the power. All right. Look at that Hoonigan sticker we left there for you. It's a gold sticker too. That's, That's what I'm important. talking about. That's the real deal. So Brian, I find it amusing that you mock me for vehicles like this. When you have vehicles like a uh, Land Rover Discovery, uh, a 28 Chevy Woody uh, that has termites, uh, a, an Audi, a five-cylinder Audi Coupe Quattro that hasn't run in how many years? Mm, 13. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to get it running one day. It's going to be dope. I, I'm really big. I'm six foot eight. You may have seen me try to squeeze into a cross uh, cart. <laughs> Watch me get into this thing because this thing Almost as ridiculous. Oh, see, I, with this one, I can get in from the top. Ah! <laughs> Just kind of. <laughs> Don't break the steering wheel or your knees. Look at that. Yeah, that's down. perfect. Except for that, a rock well, on the highway would kill me. Yeah, if you got rear-ended, this would kill you. Oh. And if you if you had Who a front, that was a good idea, right? And if you had a frontal accident, this will kill you. Yeah. And this can kill you. Are there even seatbelts in here? You know, frankly, this is one of those cars where I think you'd rather be thrown clear. I can't operate the clutch. Well, it doesn't work anyway. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. You just have to start it in gear. Start it up. Yeah. Right? Let's that thing turn. It sounds so much better without the exhaust. You should not put the exhaust back on. Like, I got excited when I heard this pull up in the yard, and then I came out and realized it was this. I love that you take all the class out of owning a British car. I never, I never claimed to be classy. I just claimed to own British cars. Oh, this one's... I can't unsee that. All right, let's do some burnouts. Leave it to Darnell to bring out the right tool for the right job. That's the first 
burnout ever where the front wheels were more entertaining than the rear wheels. first burnout that's ever been done in an MG Midget. I guarantee you there's a lot of Brits out there who are gonna tell you otherwise, but. <laughs> oh man, you actually put enough down that you're gonna get yourself a little evidence jar. All right, let's do donuts. We'll just start okay. it the same way, and then let's let you in into it, and then you go And then hit there. the wall, yeah. perfect. It's always fun getting cars that really shouldn't be doing burnouts or anything like this to do them. What you doing, Will? Uh, hopefully getting this really wet so we can see some uh, MG donies. You good at getting them wet? <laughs> This is a 40 horsepower donut. Alright, now he's just getting extreme. Yeah. He's really up in the ante on this one. There's no more clutch, there's no more motor, there's no more exhaust, there's no more oil in the engine. That's all she wrote. <laughs> Sorry British car people. We didn't even need hurt this time to break things. Good job. <laughs> Extreme. <laughs> extreme. British extreme. That was pretty extreme. Yeah,